PWCC is a great way to sell your sports cards. If you're looking for a way to support the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel, consider using the promo code CAJUN, all caps, C-A-J-U-N, when you're selling your cards on the PWCC marketplace. All right, folks, another Digging for Gold episode, and we are actually getting towards the end. What are these? Oh, wow, that's weird. Uh, we are actually getting towards the end of this cross-country collection, and so uh, you'll see. All we're going to do is go through this box. It's uh, it's all two-piece, except there's a couple graded cards in here, which is weird. We're going to look at those together. It's graded by some off-brand company, but I haven't looked at these yet, so we're going to look at them together. Oh, there's actually some cards in top loaders over here that I haven't looked at either. Oh, maybe those are not cards. I don't know. This is going to be wild uh, as usual. So I'm going to move this to the side and then I'm going to readjust the camera and then I'm going to reach down and just start grabbing. Uh, that's what she said. I'm going to reach down and just start grabbing these, uh, <clears throat> these, you know, screw downs, I guess they're called. So uh, let me just start grabbing a stack at a time. I don't know if these are all Jordan. I don't know if these are only Jordan. Jordan, part of the set. This is my, okay, so card number one. Well, this looks real. This looks like, this is not a custom card, is it? Surely this is not a custom card. Um, 45, 23, hand-drawn Michael Jordan on the back. What does this say? Basketball's best, I can't read this. Hardcourt Classics. Uh, this is clearly a custom card. I love how they have the ghost Jordans in the background. Basketball's best, 1995, Michael Jordan. A really cool looking uh, case on the outside too. So Bob Bob saw Jordan, Bob bought Jordan. Uh, so funny looking little uh, custom card right here. Obviously for sale. Uh, and then we're just gonna start, some of these are gonna be stuck together. I, I kinda recognize these, I've seen these. I don't think there's a, these are very valuable. Uh, and I'm sure they're a hundred bucks if they're a PSA 10, but I, you know, again, tens are pie in the sky stuff when you're grading stuff with PSA recently, but this is, uh, let's see, SP 92 NBA. I've seen a bunch of these JC 19, um, JC 20. So it looks like this might be the whole set of these. Let's look through these here. God, these do stick together. Yep. Uh, this is going to be 18, 17. Yeah. So this is going to be the whole set of uh well no actually it's not we're going in a different direction so this is um one of those birmingham baron die cut cards michael jordan time capsule the tcs i've seen these so tc3 i think i even tried to grade some of these put that there uh i recognize this card this is actually uh there's an autograph version of this card which is freaking huge um Upper deck Olympic card. Uh, it, this one, these are gold, but I don't know if they're normally gold or if they're normally a different color. They say RG1 Reflections Gold. I think is what that stands for. Um, and again, I don't know why they couldn't put USA on his jersey. Weird. It must be some Michael Jordan licensing thing. But uh, it looks like two identical copies of the same card uh, from Upper Deck. So I don't know if there's any uh, value in these or not. We'll look it up uh, and uh, kind of go from there. These are. Yeah, I mean, we need to probably look up all these, but we're going to put this, well, custom is junk, so we'll put the stuff that I need to look at over here. Uh, no, no surprise here. This is, I think this is just the normal, yeah, this is not, this is just the normal base card number 23. I'm not sure why he put this one. I mean, I've seen seven of these probably in the cross-country collection, but uh, this one with the, where he's dunking Horace Grant in the background is uh, a card that we'll look at grading. Uh, some more time capsules. So we saw TC3. This is TC1 and TC4. This is TC3 uh, again and TC2. So two TC3s. Again, these are the same. I don't think there's any parallel stuff going on here. So these time capsules, I have no clue. We just got to look at it. Luckily, I have an electric screwdriver ready so we can unscrew all those and look at those. Uh, what do we have here? All right, I'm just grabbing uh, maybe there's multiple sets of this. Here's another one, TC4. So it looks like there's two TC4s in here, maybe. Did I, no, am I wrong? Yeah, TC4, another TC4. So a bunch of time capsule. Those are die cut. All right, my guess is this is going to be a, God damn it, a complete set of these predictors. H1. These are not going to grade well. These are impossible. It's all black edges, borders, everything. And there's a centering, you know, you got your centering considerations, although these two look actually centered really well. So, again, I haven't read all this crap, but um, H1, H2, Josh explained all these things on the, uh, let me get these unstuck, and then I can show them to you. 
H3, H4, H5. So it looks like uh, predictors H1 through H5. And then we're back to the time capsules. TC1, TC2. So it looks like maybe two copies of each. Yep, that's my guess. All right, we'll figure those out. We'll figure out if those are worth grading. I'm gonna run out of room here. Let me scoot these back a little bit. So we're gonna run out of room. Uh, I'm about a quarter of the way through here. Um, this is a sh silly common base card, unless, yeah, I don't think there's anything special about this. Maybe this is just, a, I don't know what, why this is in a two piece. I don't know, this is like a 25 cent card, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so not anything there. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at. Uh, Michael Jordan basketball heroes with barely you can see Jordan. It's got a lot of stuff all over his face. You can barely see the image of him. JH. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. <coughs> I guess we need to look that up. Uh, looks like another set looking thing. 1985 NBA Rookie of the Year, Michael Jordan, Upper Deck, this Basketball Heroes. So these are going to go together. Let's keep these Basketball Heroes together. That's J.H. That's 37. There's Jordan finishing around Bird with no name on the back. They airbrushed Bird's name off there. Or maybe there was no name on the back of the Celtics. 37, 38. Here's a good-looking image. I recognize that one. That looks like the image on the um, Fleer number 120. 39. Seen this image before too, of course. The Cooper in the background. 40. All Star Game Jordan. 41. I don't know if I think these are a bunch of partial sets or sets. Here's Jordan locking up. 42. Yep. 42. 43. Yep. Basketball heroes. Let me know in the comments if y'all know anything about these. 44. It's a pretty cool looking card. So we'll see about those. Put those over to the side. And then this card is a really good looking card. I've seen this card. This is a checklist card, but what a cool looking checklist. I've seen this one great. I think this one does really well in PSA 10, to be honest with you. This is a checklist. Okay, so this is a checklist for all these basketball heroes. So maybe it's just sort of a subset. I'm not really sure. It's Upper Deck product, so check it out. Um, Michael Jordan's scrapbook. Not Stackhouse's scrapbook. Michael Jordan's. MJ5. MJ5 again. Don't know what that is. We'll check it out. Uh, this one we know is the, oh, it's the electric diamond version. Okay, so there might, this is okay. I mean, it's got to grade really well, I think. I don't think that electric diamond makes it that rare, um, but it helps distinguish it from the base, and it's a parallel. Um, I think that most people consider this like his true, you know, the base version, his true rookie card. And again, I don't think there's a crazy value there, but the electric diamond makes it interesting. And then isn't it funny how you can always tell a custom card, but it's not. Uh, PSA may actually grade this, uh, believe it or not. 1994 Houston, Texas. Um, I think this is from the National, yeah, the National uh, Sports Card Convention. So they may actually grade this because this is an actual card that was given out at the National and it's, you know, not going to grade well. There's chipping everywhere um, and it's handed to people. It's probably handed loose in bags and shit like that. But, uh, We'll see. We'll check it out. We'll see if PSA grades it. That's the first question. Is PSA or, B or BGS? Is either one of them grade that? All right, I got another handful down here. Here's another one. So maybe they gave out a couple variations. National Sports Car Convention. Same one. August 4th, 1994. So three of these. They must have given out three different variations. Uh, cheap little Jordan uh, collector's choice base card, but this one has the silver signature. Uh, 661. So I think that is a parallel I might be wrong. Maybe this is the base. I don't know because I don't pay attention to Jordan baseball stuff. Uh, Jordan playing golf with a fedora. Investor's Journal. I'm going to go out on a limb and say they're not going to grade this. Um, it's got a big stain down here in this bottom left anyway, so I don't know what that is. Just throw it over there. Uh, is this Investor's Journal again? Yeah, Investor's Journal. These... I'm assuming are custom cards. You can always kind of tell. Investor's Journal, 
custom card. Jordan celebrating in Barkley's face. Uh, investor's Journal. No, Spotlight. Looks like it's cut. The Investor's Spotlight. Limited to 5,000 copies. Issue 2. Uh, investor's Focus. <laughs> so the, investor's Journal, Investor's Spotlight, Investor's Focus. I don't think any of these are real. These are all custom. That's actually a cool looking. They all use the same, you know, speckled scopish whatever starburst thingy you want to call it whatever you want to call it all right now these uh okay so that's a real card i've seen this one before these corners look a little curled so that's not going to grade well but uh steel of a deal free agent 1994 the upper deck company bad centering um again i don't think there's too much value here um, okay, I, there's just a lot of weird nuanced stuff in here that I am just not familiar with. And I've always told you guys, I definitely don't claim to be the world's expert on, uh, on, you know, these nuanced Jordan cards. I'm pretty good on the cards you'll see in the hierarchy, but stuff like this, like no clue. I'm going to certainly reach out to Northeast sports cards and Stanley and Frankie Gonzalez, um, Frankie 3,500 and ask some of these guys about these WCG, uh, that doesn't really mean a lot to me, but uh, I'm pretty sure these golds have value if they grade well. And this one actually looks well centered. So this is like a gold version, and it's even got a serial number down here. The fact that it's 7,360 worries me a little, but a uh, 23 karat gold card. There's a bunch of these out there. So I'm going to put these to the side. Here's another one. Red, white, and blue rookie border. Same kind of deal. Um, I <laughs> I don't know if there's any value here. And then here's a decade of excellence with the script down here, but I think that's normal. I think that's what the normal one looks like. These are actually super valuable in PSA 10. Well, too valuable, to be quite honest with you. I don't know if people are trying to pass them off as fakes to newbies or what, but they're out there. Uh, okay, so here's the rest of the predictors. Wait, we, we did one through five, so this might be another set. One, two, three, four, Five. So there's another set of predictors and another three. Is the three missing from this one? No, I think it's just a duplicate. So one through five, one through five, and then a three. Is there more? Hang on, I'm just pulling stuff I'm down here, guys. Sorry, bear with me. All right, it looks like another one. Wait, R. This one says R. Wait, why does this one say? Are there different months on these? Oh gosh, I don't know what I'm looking at. These are, these definitely say H. Excuse me, I hit the camera. This one says R. R1. Um, there's different months? I, I have no idea what I'm looking at here, I'll be honest with you. R1, R2, R3. Maybe there's different cards for different months. R4. And this is where you figure out what the hell is going on. This is how you get educated. You see stuff, you ask, what the hell does this mean? Why is this here? Another R4 duplicate. And then clearly a custom card. American Sports Monthly. The vaulted, the vaunted American Sports Monthly Jordan Gold Border. Uh, that looks like a 1986 Topps card. <laughs> but it's a f custom, as you can see with Jordan's basketball stats on the back and his yearly average approximate figures. They, they approximate, oh my gosh, this is too funny. They are guessing, first of all, if Michael Jordan's statistics were converted into baseball stats, they would read as follows. This is hilarious. Number one, it says 185 games. Well, that's a problem because I don't know about you guys, but in baseball, they play 162. 600 at-bats uh, with 26 walks. And 32 strikeouts, batting 300 and 29 home runs. So he's basically going to be Frank Thomas is basically what we're getting at. Uh, except he's going to somehow play 23 extra games. That, my friends, is absolutely epic. They have converted his basketball stats into baseball, and that is what the result is. You cannot get enough of these custom cards. Absolutely hilarious. Uh, another promo, Pocket Pages. Free sample. 
sexy Jordan. This is uh, what they call the sexy Jordan card. Sexy look back, parallel. Jordan legend continues. Test run, collectible promo card. Where Bob left no stone unturned. And then we got a just straight up random uh, stadium club, card number one. 92 stadium club, card number one. Wait, how can this? This is interesting. Hmm. I don't know. I never noticed. Is that normal? That it's got that on the back of it? That doesn't look normal. Rookie card. Rookie card. 1992 tops. Rook this doesn't make sense. What is this? This is something. There's something weird going on here. Do y'all see what I'm seeing? I don't think that's on the back of the normal card, but it's here. And then real small down here. And y'all can't see. It says, look down here below the, the right side of the 92 tops gold card. It says, rookie card. 1992 93 tops that doesn't make any sense so that's some kind of fake or something jam sessions these grade man Ugh. top right corner is not gonna allow it but we'll put it up there uh we know about this card we know about this card this is the all-star weekend card that came from the set but it's horrifically off center there's not gonna be very much value there we can put Put that one to the side. And this is a card I just bought in PSA 10. No way. I just bought this card. A little known insert in the 90, I think it's 93 or 94 Fleer. I can't remember. NBA Superstars insert. Um, this is actually got, it's about 160, 150 to 170 dollars in PSA 10. A pretty interesting little insert. Not the rarest thing in the world, but it's also not crazy high pop. It's like under 500 pop. So, uh, yeah, 93 Fleer NBA Superstars Jordan insert. So, we'll look at that one. Um, Jerry West selects from 92 Upper Deck. Top left is destroyed on this card. So, that's not going to be grade worthy. I don't think that would, that might not be grade worthy anyway. Another Jerry West selects. JW8, so we're going to have all of these. I know Bob's not going to leave it. Well, maybe he is. JW8, or maybe Jordan's only on a couple of them. 8, 9, 4. So Jordan, he selected Jordan as the best defender. Jerry West is not bashful. The best all-around player, Jordan. The best clutch player, Jordan. So he wins all three of those awards, uh, according to Jerry West. Uh, and now we're to seven straight. This looks like some kind of... Upper deck. All right, I remember this one. Scoring titles. You got Wilt on the back. You got MJ on the front. We'll have to look at that. We got the same card. Yep. Okay. And then we've got... Oh, I like this card. I like this card. MJR. MJ Retires. The MJ Retires card. I like it, the script. It's kind of legacy collection-ish. Platinum medallion-ish. Uh, another copy. And then uh, the members only. All those we'll have to look at. Sorry, I got about 10 more here, guys. Maybe 20 more. Maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 to 15 more. Jordan, White Sox, Pro Prospects. Of course, Upper Deck tried to create, you know, 100 cards that they said were rookies. Oh, here we go. We got some real stuff here. The SP Championship uh, die cut. These are all recessed two pieces, so it's not the end of the world. I don't think I've seen this one die cut. Michael Jordan returns die cut. Hmm, number 41. Maybe I'm crazy, but I don't think I've seen that one. Uh, we know this one with the he's back on the bottom. Parallel. Michael Jordan's highlights. I don't know what this is. J H one. Again, J H two. Let's go. Let's put these in order. J H three. I'm assuming. Yep. Bob doesn't screw around. He keeps his stuff organized. I try to tell y'all. Uh, J H four. JH5, okay, so I don't know anything about these either. We'll figure it out together. Yep, put those in a stack, see if there's any value. And then I don't know what I'm looking at here, but I know these are not going to be graded. Michael Jordan Cologne. <laughs> he's got 
He's got a few of these in here. One, two, three, four, five of these in here. Michael Jordan colognes. We'll put them up there. Maybe you can sell them raw. I don't know. And then two more customs. These look like the first ones we looked at. Living legend customs. All right. That's it, guys. The two-row box. A bunch of screw downs. I'll have to... I'm going to look it up before I take them out of the screw downs, okay? So I don't want to unscrew all these cards if they're worthless. I'll just put them in a big Jordan box and leave them in the screw downs rather than pull them out and mess around with them. That's what she said. So... um Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We are nearing the end. I'm going to go out on a limb and say maybe four or five more of these Digging for Gold episodes. But then we should have, you know, a few more PSA grade reveals coming uh, after I get through them. So uh, hope for the best. We'll uh, thank you guys for joining me uh, along the way. Uh, if this is your first time seeing an episode from the Cross Country Collection, I highly suggest if you've got a few you know, maybe 150 hours to kill, <laughs> go back, go back to the very first episode so you can see what the hell's going on. The other day, somebody commented, what did you do? Buy a collection? And I'm like, man, I can't get into this. You're just going to have to go watch episode one and just tag along and, and enjoy the ride. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby. And peace.